Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Awesome Gaming. My name's Andy, and this is my Nuzlocke playthrough for Pokemon Shield. One last thing before we race, Andy. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Andy. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. Alright, so now that we've completed that, we'll go ahead and just head to Wedgehurst. We've already caught our Pokemon for this route, so we can't really do that. They spawn so far away from the grass. Like, there's been a couple of them like that. I don't know if they're specifically strong or what the deal is. Okay. Come on, Andy. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. this lady here with the choodle before? I saw Hop sneaking off toward the station. I guess it doesn't matter since she has all of garbage to tell me. Let's rest our Pokemon. Out with it, Andy. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got... not one? What were you doing with this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're a trainer. It's a Technic Machine. A TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokémon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. And the one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mum? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set, on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Okay, we got a set of camping gear. Okie doke. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom, and just think how lucky you are, Mother, to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off. Wish us luck, not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Andy. Come on, we're off! Run 
Vostok is surrounded by a vast wild area. It is a real sight. There is all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out and do a spot of fishing. Don't take... Don't think I could ever get tired of it. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train has halted due to a flock of woo on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant? This is wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Andy? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. We can get you back to Wedgehurst if you like, but Motostoke is off the menu for now. It wouldn't be very decent of us to try to drive off the Pokemon just because we happen to want to run our train here, now would it? it? Seems like my children are giving something to people who have had a Let's Go experience. But what in the world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? Okay, so this is another something I wanted to address. There are a few Pokemon that we are both going to get now in this video. Uh, one is for having our Let's Go Pikachu save. The other is a Gigantamax Meowth. Now, I'm not going to use these Pokemon for the playthrough, but I am going to get them and put them away in the box. And... If I manage to make it through the game, then those Pokemon will be there, but I'm not going to be using them to help me in the game, so. Hey, have you had a Pikachu had a... Oh no, I don't think I was mistaken. Don't mind me. Okay, well, I must... Oh, you know what it was? It was saved under a different profile, so I bet you I cannot get that. At least the Pikachu. Let's see if we can get... If we can get the Meowth. Because that's really the more important one here. Which I do not know if I can do that because I have not linked this Nintendo account. Okay, so this is all fine. We're going to get playthrough with this. And those Pokemon are on a different profile. So, okay, that's fine. I guess I addressed something that ended up not having any relevance to me anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Uh, let's see what you got. Uh, you have Pokeballs. Uh, basically just the same stuff as before. Uh, no thanks. Okay. You'll run into stronger wild Pokemon the farther you go into the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poké Doll. And she gave me five Poké Dolls. Okay. Spin up. Okay, find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke. Your Pokemon, yes. Look at that. That's Motostoke, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, and if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Uh, that sounds rough. Ah, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grant will admit I have some, I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. 
I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. What cheek. Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit red beams of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? You obtained a Pokemon Link Box. You put a Pokemon Box link in your bag's key items pocket. Okay. Just do, 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 do. With a Pokemon Box link, you'll be able to put your Pokemon from your team into your boxes, or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Okay guys, so I've decided for the wild area, I'm going to treat each section of the wild area as its own section. So here we have rolling fields. So if I encounter a Pokemon here, that would be my Pokemon for the rolling fields. And then when we enter a separate area, we will address it as such. We're going to try to avoid... Uh, use the right stick to rip the cannon. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're still in the rolling fields when we get the notification that we've entered the next area. While well, a haunter would be nice, I have no chance of catching it right now. Okay, so East Lake Axwell. That would be a separate area where we can catch another Pokemon if we so choose. I'm not going to right this second, but right now we're just trying to get to Modestoke. The wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. Also, find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you just give them some of your watts. And that is when we enter online. So that, okay, so so far we have rolling fields in East Lake East Lake Axwell. Now there is a section in the center, but until we get the bike that will enter that area. Okay, so this is Westlake Axwell. This would give us a separate Pokemon that we can engage here. No, I do not want you. And this is Watchtower Ruin, so this would be another area where we could get a Pokemon. So we got some Deli Birds, some Drifloons, a Noi Bat. And I probably need to get out of here before I accidentally. I'm gonna try to get some berries though. Not trying to engage tree Pokemon. Okay, so Watchtower Ruins, East Lake Axwell, West Lake Axwell. I 
have to be super careful with the trees. Now, we are going to permit ourselves to get lots. But we also have to be careful of that because... We don't want to engage any of the dens that have max raid battles in them. Simply because we are not trying. We will permit ourselves to pick up stuff on the ground. Okay, so that's cooking. So is this still Westlake Axe? Let me look at the map here actually. Tell us the separate sections. Dappled Grove. Okay, so this is the Rolling Fields. That is Westlake Axwell. That is Watchtower Ruins. That's Axu's Eye. Okay, so all of these sections are marked separately. So we got one, two, three, four Pokemon sections here. We can't get to this one yet, so we have South Lake Mylock and Giant Seat and North Lake Mylock. So, currently, before we cross the bridge, there appears to be seven Pokemon that we can catch. So that's just my little run-through of this wild area, just to kind of get a gauge of where we start. And now we are going to head to Modestoke. And try to avoid the counters until we are ready. Really is kind of a different feeling doing this playthrough, just simply because in a normal Nuzlocke, you would just encounter Pokemon in the grass, whatever you got, whatever you got. But this is designed differently. Simples there. I do think I might want to catch one of those. Let's we'll see. I think first order of business, though, is going to be to do a little grinding. Just so I'm not so at risk in this area. I don't know if I necessarily want to snover. Yeah. Quite a lot of weaknesses, even as bomb as snow. So we'll go ahead and get into another stoke now. Alright guys, so that's where we're going to go ahead and end this episode. Might be a hair on the shorter side compared to the previous episodes. But uh, this weekend I may do some grinding in the wild area. I will record those sessions in case I happen to catch any Pokemon or happen to lose any Pokemon, God forbid. But uh, until then, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. It greatly helps with the channel. And if you would like to catch more of this playthrough, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, get awesome.